Hi guys, Barbara here. So it's only a few more days until Valentine's Day 2015. So of course, you know I have something fantastic planned for today. On today's menu, chocolate covered pretzels. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. So to get started with this, I've enlisted Jada to help me. Look at her beautiful wreath thingy on her hair for Valentine's Day. <laughs> and we got started already, so let me show you what we've done. The first thing I did was measure the Pyrex dish to go over the different size pot. This one's too small, this one's perfect for this pot, and this one's the right size for the small one. Now let's go over the ingredients. These are what we're going to need. It's going to be really simple. You can do this for you and your honey for Valentine's, okay? So this is some salted pretzel, the mini kind, the hard ones. And then I'm going to use uh, Nestle's milk chocolate and the Premier White. Uh, we've measured out half a cup each already and got started, but we know we're going to need more. And uh, we're going to need like baking sheets with parchment paper or wax paper. We're going to do it with extra virgin olive oil, but you can use vegetable shortening too. The water in the pots are boiling, so it's time to add the chocolates to the bowls. We're starting off with half a cup each. And then Jada's adding some extra virgin olive oil. It's only a capful to each bowl. That's about a tablespoon each, okay? Now, I already know this is not going to be enough. I originally wanted to just do a little bit, but I know I'm going to have to add more. So here we go, adding a half a cup each, more to each bowl. And just let the melting continue. And watch your heat, okay? You don't want it to burn. And it's very simple. When it's melted and smooth like this, you just move it back over to the counter. Here comes the white chocolate. Then here comes the milk chocolate and then it's a matter of dunking. So get the pretzels and just dunk it in the chocolate, flip it over, take it out with a fork so you can drain off the excess and then lay it on the parchment paper or wax paper. And then now Jada's gonna do some white ones. I'm not usually a great fan of white chocolate because I'm a dark chocolate or milk chocolate kind of girl, but I'm gonna enjoy this because I like when white chocolate is covered on stuff like this. So here they are. You know, you can do more of course, but we just wanna do a small quantity. And Jada's finishing it up by drizzling, and she's drizzling the milk chocolate onto the ones that covered with white chocolate. And then, of course, the reverse is going to happen here where she puts the white chocolate on the milk chocolate covered pretzels. And just this is just a design, you know, we don't really know anything fancy when it comes to design, so this is what we're doing. And then you can also add a little bit of sprinkles. I don't really like sprinkles, it kind of hurt my teeth, but you know, just doing one to show you guys. Stick it in the fridge and just let it sit for a little while. Now, Joe made some plantain chips again, so we're gonna try chocolate covered plantain chips. I know these are gonna be awesome because the plantain chips are salty. So we do the same thing, dunk them, and then go on ahead and drizzle to make it all pretty. And we're gonna stick these ones in the freezer, okay? Because they're all kind of melting on us. Take a look at them. Aren't these gorgeous? Oh my goodness, I can't wait to taste these. So here's the finished product, guys. These are the pretzels. These are the plantain chips. And the beautiful Jada will taste for us. And she had, she had an opportunity to change her shirt to say love rocks for Valentine's because we put them in the fridge first and then in the freezer for about a half hour, okay? So which one are you tasting? The white chocolate. Oh my goodness. That looks good. So good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, the reason that I'm not tasting right now is because I want to wait till after dinner. Because when I eat sweet things before dinner, I start feeling nauseated. So good. Delicious. Mm -hmm. You want to taste one of the pretzels for us? Yeah. Just a little bite. Oh, that sounds good. Even though it was in the freezer, it's still crunchy. Mmm, that's really good. Thank you, Jada. Did you guys notice what I did today? I ran the camera as well. Jada did all the hard work, right? Just kidding, the work wasn't hard at all. It was so easy to melt the chocolate. Of course, you can melt it in the microwave if that's what you wanna do, but watch it, okay? And remember to add the extra virgin olive oil or some vegetable shortening because that gives it like the sheen and or the shine and then you can also dump the thing in there and it becomes more like a liquid where you can roll whatever you're doing in there so the pretzels were absolutely wonderful and if you notice we did milk chocolate and white chocolate but you could totally trade out the milk chocolate for dark chocolate and you could put dye in the white chocolate to make different colors for whatever excites your heart all right so 
Did you guys notice the brata that I did? Brata is a Creole word meaning extra. I threw that little bit extra in there with the green plantain chips. You know, we always have the green plantain chips kind of lying around the house now. Ever since we did that video, I'll put it in the description or maybe put a link here for you guys to go find out how to make the green plantain chips. But Joe had some, so I just kind of, well, actually, let me give Joe the credit. He was the one, we were sitting on the couch and I was planning the menu for the pretzels. And he says, what, what if we covered the green plantain chips? And I was like, oh my goodness, let's try that. So I'm glad that I took up his advice and did it because those were so fantastic. This is my new favorite dessert now. Move over bread pudding. I love the chocolate covered green plantain chips because the chips are salty just like the pretzels. And then you cover it with the candy. And did you guys see how beautiful the pictures are that I showed you in the video? Oh my God, it's gorgeous, isn't it? So anyways, the green plantain chips are fantastic. My new thing to love. I want you guys to have a fantastic Valentine's Day. If you don't have a Valentine to spend a day with, don't sit at home depressed, okay? Go out and mingle with people. Go help somebody who needs help, maybe an older person that's shut in, that's lonely. And you'll find that your mind is going to be off your problems right away when you're helping somebody else. And then you're going to have a happy Valentine's. If you like this video, hit like below for me. Please share it with your friends and family. And until I see you guys again, take care. Okay, so I absolutely have one stinking pretzel to taste. They ate all the covered pretzels, the chocolate covered pretzels, and they ate all the plantain chips. The people I live with. It's so good. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, this is my new Valentine's Day um, treat that I love. Mm, mm, mm. The pretzels and the plantains. Bye, Z. Thank you so much for liking the video and subscribing. Please check out my other two channels, the product review channel, Bear Pantry Talk, and come have some fun with my family and me over at the vlog channel, Babs Bear Talk. All right, guys, so because this is chocolate related, I've invited Jada to help me out. Stop it. <laughs> this dog keeps licking me. Don't lick yeah, me. You love grandma. Grandma. <laughs>